nobody ever thinks about what it's like to be a host of a show. Like, is there something? Is there anything difficult about being host of Dancing with the Stars? I love that. It's like it's like an embarrassment of riches, to be honest with you. It's a, a target-rich environment. So no, I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Do you dance? With enough tequila, yes. Yeah. 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 Can't we all, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. And how did you become involved with this today? Uh, I, Nancy uh, uh, Allspot Jackson is a friend of mine going way back yeah. to our days working in Boston television. Wow. And it was through her that I became involved. Oh, that's yeah. Great. How did you become involved? Uh, well, I've known Vin for uh, many years. In fact, before America's Funniest Videos, uh, we did a show together called Animal Crack Ups, a kid's show for ABC. So uh, we go back a long way, so I pretty much do anything uh, uh, that Vin's involved with. My brother produces his show, okay. America's Funniest Video, and uh, there's a, a, a quid pro quo uh, for kids organizations and we all kind of take turns doing each other's charity. My personal one is diabetes because of my uh, eldest son. Vin's been supportive of that in the past so and it makes perfect sense to uh, support autism. You, I know you've hosted game shows in your past. Are there, is there a game show you'd want to be a part of like as a contestant? Uh, well I'm, I'm a bit of a, a trivialist myself. I like uh, uh, all, all game shows. Uh, I produce them. I've hosted them, I've written theme songs for them, and uh, but I, I, I uh, think I prefer the ones where you actually have to answer a question. Oh my god, the smart people you ones? May, Forget may, it. No, no, yeah, I, I actually brought Alex Trebek to this country. No. Yes, he's a friend of mine oh, no. from Canada, and I brought him down to host a show that I was producing at NBC, and then uh, after a couple of years of that he went on to uh, Jeopardy. But. Uh, uh, Jeopardy's a little tough for me, but I, I lean in, in more in that direction. Growing up, what did you notice that might have been different for other people or friends of yours that was different? Um, you know, I guess with my brother, was he couldn't talk. He still can. He's very low functioning. And when I was younger, um, I didn't. I thought I was a very special kid who could talk, and I didn't realize that other kids couldn't talk. So I went to preschool, and I hadn't really been around many other children. I thought you like reached a certain age, and all of a sudden you could talk, and I had this special ability. And I went to school, and all of these other kids were talking, and it was a shocking thing. It was preschool, and it kind of led me to realize that like, my brother isn't normal. And then that, that was how my parents introduced me to autism and what was going on and all of that, yeah. I really feel like it's finally getting noticed. It is. It's great. I mean, it's about time that somebody noticed it. It's, it's a huge cause. Um, and so many kids are impacted and more and more, and there needs to be more research and more done to, to promote the cause. Absolutely, yeah. We're so happy. This is the eighth Denim eight and Diamond years. started in our backyard right. eight years ago. Uh, before I became executive director, but because the first Denim and Diamonds was such a success, we joined the board, and then a short time later, I became executive director. Wow. Yeah. How, how proud are you of it? Uh, oh, I'm proud of her. Well, she's, she's the girl, and her partner is standing behind you. Shannon. Shannon. But uh, Nancy, Nancy's the leader. She's the visionary. But you know what I love when, when people who are married are both just as passionate about something that takes the level of everything you have to give to it and it expands it so much. Well, having a son with autism, you feel for every family that doesn't have resources. And I got to say, just this morning, we had a moment. Our son was doing something called perseverating, where they talk about the same thing over and over and got very upset. And finally, he broke down and cried and let it all out. And we hugged him, all three of us, and Reed turned to me with tears in his eyes, and you said... I said, never lose sight of your mission. You're God's angel. You know, because... Don't make me cry. I gotta have my anyway, we're not making this up. Um, do you ever have people that want you to be that character all the time? All the time. Yeah. Is it in you still, though? There has to be part of you that's an angry dude. You no, know, no, it's, it's always there. It's always there, and I'm always ready to say, no soup for you. <laughs> Today? Really? Okay, good. What brings you to this event? Is there somebody you know? Are you affected personally? Or you just really want to support? Yeah, well, there is someone I know right next to you, Shannon, who uh, is the host of Autism Live. Uh, her husband, Jim, and I went to theater school together. And we've known each other for 30 years or more. And they have an autistic child. And um, I have some other friends that also do. So. It is kind of close. Do you have like a mentor on the actual set? Someone you go to for questions, answers? Well, I mean, it really just depends. For like girl advice, I usually go to my two sisters on the show. 
Um, what is what have they told you recently? Any advice? I don't know. Um, sometimes they're really good with advice, and sometimes they're really not. Um, sorry, guys, but um, I know they they recently like gave me some ideas about like how to like text a girl or something, and I was like freaking out. I was like, guys, this is the worst idea ever. But you know, it's fun. It's, it's texting is so awful. <laughs> Everybody does it. I do, but it's so hard when you wait for the response, you don't get it, then you're so frustrated. Get it. <laughs> oh. Well, screw that girl. She doesn't know. Autism, you know, hits, the spectrum hits people all over the world. Um, it hits my family. My, my nephew has three children that are that are in the spectrum. So uh, it's, it's, it's near and dear to my heart because of that. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't know that there is a spectrum. Yes. I mean, there's a wide range of, of, of behaviors and, and, you know. It, I feel like if you're, I mean, I don't have kids, but if, if you are a parent of a child with autism, it's incredibly isolating and probably scary because a lot of people don't understand what you have to go through. Well, it's a daunting task. I mean, you know, one day you're, you're having a normal relationship with your child and the next day you can't, in some cases, communicate at all. Yeah. So what do you do as a parent? And that's, that's where Act Today comes in. Uh, they, they help with grants and things to help, you, help your family today. What would you have to say to parents who are going through it right now and don't feel they have the resources? I would say, you know, it's a much better time now than it was 25, 30 years ago when I got in the field. So all I would say to these families is don't be scared. Don't be afraid because we're here and a lot of other people are here to help you. And, you know, 30 years ago, it was a completely different thing. Right now, we have Department of Developmental Services funding, insurance funding, school district funding, and this sort of thing. So. We will help as many families as we can. There are so many wonderful causes and wonderful charities, and philanthropy is the name of the game for me. I love it. My heart goes out to it. So I've heard that this is a wonderful event and was invited and happy to be here. This is our third year, and it's always um, wonderful to be here because during the year, Nancy fills me in what's going on, and it's such a great organization. They're really the organization to go to to get quick response and to get help. There's really no other organization like it um, in America. She's done a great job, and um, I'm, I'm very thrilled to be uh, representing tonight.